Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ukronia channel. I am Andrew and this is a new episode dedicated to Hearts of Iron 4, no step back. I have been very very patient with, with our Soviet Union till November 43, but now the counter-attack has just started. I remind you, we just picked, um, we, we, we just uh, conquered uh, Minsk and uh, Kiev before creating a little encirclement here and there before striking back with the, our full strength and uh, it's working. It's working now, especially because the Americans are in France. Italy is completely under the control of Britain. So what can I, what can I say? It's just, uh, it's just wonderful. I'm going to start the Baltic security path, so I will now um, englobe Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia before they join the Allies, because that could also happen. Let me see if I can create encirclements here. Not really. It's fine. I, I let the battle plan work. I, I, don't, I'm, I don't think it's necessary to do anything else. Uh, those troops here, those eight guys here, actually could try... Nah, let's let's leave it. Let's leave it for the time being. I could try to take this, uh, but I don't give the order yet. And uh, also Vatutin, yeah, Vatutin and a diff at a different order, but now we give him this one, and we ask him to push also because he's always behind the lines. I forgot to give this order. I don't know why he had a different order. I can't remember exactly. I think I forgot him once. The fuel now is good, 15,000, but that's most of most because um, we are importing a lot of oil. Our um, aircraft and our uh, tanks and our army need a lot of oil. And we are also working hard to build the railways that brings more logistics to the front. Fuel refining, amazing. I needed this technology a lot because it's giving 20% more uh, petrol from oil so now we jump to a 17,000 okay I think I can now go back to the US and ask them uh, I tell them that we need less uh, import and also Iran I think it's going to be fine anyways 13 and we need 11 wonderful okay and uh, uh, I, I don't forget the offensive started at the beginning of November in 20 days we regained the control of uh, Belarus, uh, part of Romania, and uh, this is just amazing. It's just amazing. Let's try to, to push uh, into Istanbul. Let's try to see if it works. Not really. Okay. Not really. But now we are at the door of Warsaw. We will stop there, and then we will do a new offensive. Yes. Bulgaria capitulated. We do a new offensive towards Berlin. So now that we have the control of Warsaw, and it took us only 20 days, Berlin is definitely uh, in front of us. Again, we do this, we do everything with the right time. Dendab is also hungry, of course. Vienna should be the second capital once Berlin falls. And let's see. Um, one thing that I want to do, I would like to see if I can change the static warfare that is giving me bonuses only in the entrenchment with a better division speed now and less loss when moving. I think it's better. Flexible organization. Yeah, let's switch to the flexible organization. And by the way, may I use some other tactics? Um, blitz, tactic movements. Let's use the blitz as a favorite tactic. This should help us. And every time we advance, we need to figure out where we can move our airplanes so we can keep pushing.
Wow. 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 Everything happened so, so fast. But... <laughs> This is the Soviet Union that I love. Oh, there was also a nice encirclement in there. This is just wonderful. I think I can stop building tanks, to be honest. I think I can stop building tanks. Uh, let's give a last order and that's it. For the time being, let's, let's, let's do this. Okay, it seems that everybody is now in position. We have just the order to take the control of Hungary and Slovakia, of course. And we have many more military factories. Let me see where do we need a support. Trucks, of course. So let's give now uh, um, 15 factories to trucks. We need them for the logistic, obviously. We need more rubber, okay. Great. Oh, look at this. Yeah. This doctrine is just amazing. I mean, with this planning and these troops, the encirclements are automatic and um, Germany is falling like a uh, paper custard. And uh, what I'm going to do now is to draw another offensive line, which uh, leads to Hamburg and uh, also Munich. Oh, no, 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 no. And we try to do this. And now this is the new order. This is the new order and now we march towards Berlin and this is the second order of advancement actually I don't want even to stop. Free military factories, okay let's move to... Um, we have a lot of tanks, this is great, we can decrease them honestly. We can give, get more support equipment. Light tanks, they're not that many. Let's see. Let's do the claims in the, Bal in the Baltic. Why are we here stopped? Ah, because here there is Danzig. And there are probably troops that are entrenched in the city. Hmm. Okay. Okay, in Czechoslovakia we don't have the air superiority yet. Let's bring some high quality air forces from the Soviet Union and now also here <laughs> we we start we start showing. We are capturing also a lot of spies. And I forgot one important thing. Let me reveal the intel of Germany. Then we know now that we have, we cracked their codes, but it doesn't matter because in two months we destroyed them. So we will be soon in Berlin and we will also use this advantage. It's important that we are full of equipment and men. We have 4 million manpower and so much. Oh, that, that looks very good. We can put power up also the strategic bombers. I don't want to deploy them there. I think that I might use them then against Japan. Because I would like to attack them also later. But psh, this is a secret. Don't tell anyone. Good. Okay, Great Hungary has capitulated. Thank you very much, Hungary. Greater Hungary has capitulated, so now we have a good bunch of territory. And we are so close to Berlin. We are so close to Berlin. 30th of December, 43. Happy New Year. Happy New Year in 3, 2, 1. Now. <laughs> okay, and now it's the 1st January, 44. We are very, very close to Berlin. And I'm quite sure that the allies will not be able to get it before us, of course. We have rubber. Let's boost it a little bit more. What are our construction doing? Uh, fixing. Fixing problems. Yeah. We need to fix this battle next because um, obviously we have lines 
we have a level five lines everywhere, but uh, if there are some bottlenecks with level ones in the in the areas that we capture, then it's an issue. Let me see if I can build. Yes, I knew it. I forgot. I, I knew that I forgot something. The mechanized equipment because I would like really to do some new models later. I would really like to do that, and I think I have enough fuel now. The requirements are are less and less. Okay, let's see. Very good. Very, very good. It seems that there are some units, some divisions that are resisting in front of Berlin, but how long? Slovakia also capitulated. Okay. We have the construction level 5. I go immediately to excavation level 5. And let's boost a little bit this mechanized infantry. I would like really to create a template of mechanized and tanks of a new generation as soon as possible, so... I think it could be interesting. I think also that Paris has been liberated. Has been liberated. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's a big mess. That's a re that's really a big mess. Uh, let me delete those orders here. Honestly, what what, what is this? what is this? What is this? Um. This is Yugoslavia. Oh, okay. What is this? Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we cancel every single order that we have. We give a new... Man. We give a new order only... Only here. And here we go. Fast, fast, fast. Perfect. And also these guys here do the same. Good. So now we basically moved, uh, we, we strategically redeploy a lot of units in the north of Germany. Okay, how much fuel does... Uh, a refinery now give okay we have around th a thousand fuel given by refineries which is better than before in terms of rubber not that much but but fine better than nothing free military factories uh, man I'm getting a lot of military factories because I'm occupying Germany, that's why. But that means I need also more rubber, more aluminium and so on. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at this moment because we are very, very, very close to Berlin. Very close to Berlin. Our organization is not the best one, but it's also okay. I don't want to lose a single second because the Allies are still struggling in France. Ah, by the way, talking about France. Yes, sir! Uh, I, we, we lost the moment, but uh, um, we managed to see here we are having the control of Syria, because Vichy France, you know, and we, we got Berlin. We have Berlin. I love it. I love it. I'm loving this. I'm loving this moment. We have Berlin, guys. We did it. We did it. The counteroffensive worked and very well. Since I have so many uh, resources, so much manpower, let's boost also the suppression of this. Um, yeah. So we will give more manpower to our military police and more suppression. 
I just like to watch it from above because uh, you can see how strong we are. Now the new capital is of course Hamburg because Vienna is already under our control. And just uh, that's just fantastic. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just boosting the production of infantry equipment because it's you never have enough. And soon also uh, Denmark will be in our hands. Perfect. Salzburg is also falling soon. And then it will be Munich, Stuttgart, Frankfurt. Let's see where we reach. Um, but I think we already got much more than historically. And the fact that we have all this bunch of uh, Eastern Europe, also Hungary, uh, makes me feel very, very happy. No jokes. Good, good, good. Stuttgart is the new capital. I'm so sorry for those, this Italian division that is defending. No, okay, there are other three German, uh, two divisions from Germany. They're defending alone Denmark. Well. So many troops is not that necessary, but fine. Okay, 170 days to the atomic research. Then we will start building our first um, facilities. As you can see, I'm focusing a lot on oil because I want to be able to get rid soon. Actually, I can already do it. Uh, to the import. I can get rid of the import, yes. Of oil. We managed to reach our independence uh, because we consume 12,000 and we produce 14,000. That's great. During this big offensive. The Socialist Bulgaria is amazing. I would really like to invite them to the faction, but they are already... Ah, they are already in the faction. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, we cannot claim now Bezarabia, blah, 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 but we can claim one, two, and three. And by the way, it's quite cheap because uh, we have the discount with these options. And then we will secure Leningrad as well. Since the, since the, let's say that the world temperature is very high, we will also then invade Finland and occupy Finland. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't really like statistics. Uh, I just unlocked this achievement. I don't know why, but what I like is that I fully annexed Germany. <laughs> I love this Europe. Ooh, tasty. Vichy France is still there, but not for long. Oh, come on. I never know what I have to import, what I, I don't have to import. It's so annoying, man. I think that the war is over soon, at least on this side. On this side, absolutely. We also get a lot of good bonuses here. Fine, so I'm going to do something. I'm going, I'm going to prepare the war against Finland, of course. And uh, what else? We can 
Ooh, nationally Spain joined the Axis seriously now. Are they in war against? But man, I mean... Spain decided to enter the war now. They want to be crushed by France. Funny. Really. But... We will dictate our own peace. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we don't accept the Alta because Germany is completely under our control, so... Okay, more aluminium, my lady, more aluminium, more rubber, more table. Okay, that's that's a quote of the Griffin. I don't expect you to, to recognize it, but fine. Okay, good, good, good. Everything looks good. I think, uh, I think that here I'm killing my troops. Let's uh, um, let's put them somewhere else. I mean, that's that's okay. And here I'm going to defend all this area with the rest of the army. So they will not suffer uh, the attrition. That's my only concern. I think that's enough. I think that this is enough. Okay, good. Uh, did I ask for... Uh, Victor is a tent. Fine. For Roy for the mother. Now I have it. Latvia has refused. Okay. Uh, Latvia and... Uh, uh, Lithuania is independent and Latvia is with the allies, okay. So we managed to annex only one republic and the other uh, two. One is a satellite, the other is with the allies. Fine, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. By the way, we have a doctrine available. So, center planning will give us 10% max planning, okay. Probably it's a little bit late, but we can take it. And fine. I just need to make sure that no one is having a red status, okay? And let's assign Rosokovsky to this. To this border. I want Rosokovsky to go here. But it doesn't move. Let's see it again. Now it's coming. Um, I want him to do this. Because the invasion of Finland will be quicker. And here we need too much aluminium. I'm sorry for that. Okay. Okay. Let's speed up a little bit. So, if we look at Japan now, we see, we see that um, we cannot enter against Japan, but we could, in theory, justify the war goal and attack them. And I think that this is what I am going to do. First, I need to close the, the war in Europe, which will happen very soon, because... Imperial Spanish Morocco and Nationally Spain. They will not last that much. Um, 
once we secure Leningrad and we invade Finland, then we will have the control basically on all Central and Northern Europe. Not bad. Let me see. I would really like to create a new template, but I don't have enough army experience. That's the problem. That's more political power under the leader, uh, the leading leader Stalin. And another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to block all my aircrafts, all of them now, which will give me now a huge boost because we don't consume any more uh, oil, any oil, and we'll have a huge boost in fuel. Great, 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 great. Fine. So we'll build another uh, silo probably here and for the rest <clears throat> yeah for the rest we have just to uh, fix everything because we have destroyed uh, Germany and look it will take a lot of time to fix the, the factories and the infrastructure and so on but we will do it and uh, and then we will probably be sitting at the table of peace not bad after that I think I will build a lot of civilian factories, literally everywhere, just because it's fun. Improved rubber processing. Okay, good, good, good. Let's move to the air, because now we should get the Tupolev strategic bomber. Shaposhnikov gets infantry expert, okay. Shanxi has capitulated. Good. Now we have a lot of production. In total, we are having 524 factories, uh, military. And civilian, of course, we are using the German ones, uh, and this is helping a lot. It's almost unnecessary. But if we want to prepare a war against the Allies or Japan, yeah, then it's the point. Okay, we won the war. We won the war. We have 2,210 points against the 2,009 of uh, England. But England is the first one asking for demand, and they want Corsica, Republic, Catalonia, Galicia, Basque Country, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Kosovo. Wow! So it seems that uh, they started. So we go to the German Reich and we say puppet. We puppet the German Reich, Germany. Can I already assign territory? Not yet, right? Not yet, okay. Um, we pop it also Italy, but I cannot immediately, okay. So let's go to Poland, puppet Poland, and let's go to Great Hungary, same. Then let's do move to Slovakia and puppet them as well. And Yugoslavia. And puppet them as well. Denmark, of course. And now, what can I take? I could take for sure Königsberg and Memel, because those are Kaliningrad, so this will be Russia. And I think for the time being, that's it. Oh, maybe I can try to take also Syria. So this will go to us, right? Yes, Soviet Union. We will take also, also Syria. This will be Soviet Union. Not bad at all. Uh, but not really. We can take probably Atai and Aleppo. But not Lebanon, okay, and turn. 
now we can take the rest and we go let's see what what uk did uh, they take a supervised state of mauritania sar okay they are start they started taking uh, taking some some puppets as well um we move right away to the german puppet So German takes Interformer, Ostmark, Niedersachsen. Okay, now we, we try to expand the Germany that we want. Okay, let me see. That's it. Uh, we have to select them once again. Okay. Okay, Poland takes the control of all the countries that they have historically. They cannot really. Oh man. We leave out Silesia. And then let's do it again. Uh, fine. Wow, the Brits the British have so many puppets now. Wow. Wow wow wow. It's really a lot. Yeah, puppeting a, a huge German Reich is uh, is big. Okay, I think I managed. Anyways, I I think I managed to do that. Um, I'm not very good in peace deals, really. Actually, I suck in, in this uh, phase. Even more than the others. Enter. No, this is not a course, so we take it with Germany. Okay, and uh, the Polish Republic. Could they do something else? Not really. Let's go back to us then. Liberate Silesia, no. Hungary could liberate Czechoslovakia. Uh, we could satellite Czechoslovakia. We could do it later, maybe. Okay, where's Denmark? Of course, Jutland. They need it. And where's Yugoslavia? No, this. <laughs> Sorry, this is the Netherlands. No, come on. Oh, man. Yugoslavia is doing very bad. Because there is the independent state of Croatia, Slovenia, they are all part of the UK. Here we go. Come on. So basically, I think we managed to uh, do everything. Can Germany maybe... Okay, Slovakia should take this... No, okay, I, I cannot, I need to pass, I need, we'll pass, so now, 
let's go to this our subjects let's go back to Slovakia and they have to take wait 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 a second 27 yeah Yugoslavia 32 okay greater Hungary uh, Okay, so Italy has still to decide, um, Germany, we take the, oh wow, we, we keep the Alses Lothringen, we keep it for us, <laughs> it's just wonderful. Let me see if I can do something else. I, I, I think I'm done. I think I cannot do much more, but uh, let's see. Where's Denmark? There's nothing pass. Can we take Sicily for us? Yeah, we could do it. We could take Sicily for ourselves, for real. Guys, we managed to have Sicily as Soviet Union. Sicily will be a Soviet naval base. <laughs> Thank you so much. What else can we have? Nothing, I think. Okay, there is there must be something in Denmark. No, we we, we we are done. We are done, ladies and gentlemen. We are done. Wait a minute. The Basque Country joined the UK. Galicia joined the UK. Corsican Republic joined the UK. Ladies and gentlemen. There is the Republic of Italy, Ferruccio Parri, in the Allies. There is a Socialist Republic of Germany under uh, Wilhelm Pieck. And Jesus, this Germany is including <laughs> all Bohemia, Austria, and also Alsace. Uh, wow, that's, that's really big. I would really like to have now a war against the Allies using this Germany then we have Poland then we have Hungary which is the Balkan Socialist Republic and then we have Slovakia and what is this Yugoslavia this is also communist and they are with us okay the same thing for uh, you for for uh, Bulgaria then Greece the kingdom of Greece is independent but under the control of the allies and for some reason, we are still in a war against uh, Ceuta. Ah, okay, but this is the Maghreb Empire. Okay, they are still in a war against us. Fine. So the Comintern now has Soviet Union, Germany, Socialist Germany, Socialist Poland, Lithuania, Yugoslavia, Denmark, Socialist Denmark, Socialist Hungary, Socialist Slovakia, Tarnova and Mongolia and Bulgaria. I would say that I'm quite happy about this result. I'm quite happy. No jokes. No jokes. And now it's time to take control. Look at this. Look at this bullshit. Uh, I think I think uh, we're not yet done yet with the level four. No, actually we are. It's just not. It's just not going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's from Moscow. We we reach a level four here, but we are just not used to. Man, that's really tricky. I think this will be uh, left for another episode. But the thing that makes me really, really proud is Palermo, Soviet Union. And we have an amazing base in the center of the Mediterranean. And here. And here. 
I, I think I'm done. I don't want to be part of this. Morocco is puppeted probably by the British. Um, and here I can really build a huge airport and naval bombers everywhere. Because, yeah, in the sea, I think England will be kind of tricky if we declare war. But anyways, it's going to be fun. Uh, we have a lot of rubber now. Still. The fact is that now we can use probably also the resources of our puppets. And when they will fix uh, all those issues, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Look, we have lost so many factories. Look at this. Infant equipment is really just not produced anymore. I think that's enough. Not really. Yeah, we could build more... Um, Trucks, there are 3,000, that's okay. Strategic Bomber, let's keep it to 10. Fighter 20 is okay. Tank 30 is okay. Transport Plane 5. Anti-Air 10. Actually, 5 would be enough. Support again 15. Artillery, closer support. And the address goes to infantry equipment. Uh, why not? Good. That looks okay. That looks okay. And probably now we are importing a shit ton of... Uh, of things that are useless for us. Okay. Good. No national focus. We go to the Middle East diplomacy and we go also here to the politics. We ask Finland. We cannot do anything with Finland. I think I think that Finland will just The Soviet Divan Karelia is an event. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I am not sure when and if I will continue this series, but it's definitely fun. So I might consider then expanding the communism in the Middle East and then try the threat from the land of the rising sun, which would give me uh, the possibility to ally then with China and try to export uh, socialism also in Asia. That's not bad, what do you think? Um, besides of that, I think I will also create as soon as possible a new template of uh, mechanized infantry and reorder a little bit my army because now we have a lot of infantry, but yeah. They're strong, strong guys, also expert, but probably not the best uh, template ever. Let's see. This was a super long episode, but it was worth. I hope you appreciate it. In case, please leave a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.